Hi, I'm Sherry with C-Spot Reviews. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I finished Still Alice by Lisa Genova. I read the uh, audiobook, which was narrated by the author. For anybody who hasn't um, seen the movie previews or heard of the book before, it's about a psychology professor who teaches at Harvard who is diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's disease. I saw a preview for the movie, and then I saw the audiobook, and I thought it looked very interesting. Uh, my wife recently lost her father to Alzheimer's, so we've been personally affected by it. But it's not something that I really knew that much about. Still Alice is told from Alice's point of view as she, uh, the lead up to her diagnosis, and then on through the progression of the disease. Through her, we're able to live not only how it affect live through not only how it affects her, but also her children and her husband, and uh, to to a lesser degree her colleagues as well. I was very touched by this book, but not in the way that I thought that I would be. I thought that it would be more uh, deliberate tugging at your heartstrings, uh, overly emotional scenes, things like that. But it wasn't like that at all. A lot of it is, Alice is more of a, uh, I mean, she's a professor, so she's used to, to thinking th about things in a more clinical, intellectual sort of way. There is a lot of emotion in this book, but what I found most interesting about it is the way that the author wrote the changes through Alice. She loses the ability to think of words, uh, to connect certain things as her memory goes. Uh, she will identify people by their title instead of, you know, this is the actress or this is uh, the mother or whomever the blonde person, people who she's known for, for years and years. Uh, and that really touched me in a way that I, I didn't really expect. I, it, it was just a very, very well, well done book, and I, I highly recommend it. I do, however, recommend that if you, if you can, if you have the time and the ability, read the book with your, with your eyes. The the author did a fantastic job of writing the book, but uh, the audiobook could have been so much better if someone else had done it. If a professional actress or narrator had done the had done the uh, the audiobook, I think it would have been much more engaging, much more enjoyable. But with that said, my level of enjoyment uh, was still very high. So uh, if you're looking for something um, touching, uh, informative, and very interesting, uh, I definitely recommend Still Alice. And now I got to go get the movie. So happy reading.